How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. A uh, good friend of mine, I, you know, as you guys know, I got a lot of videos on YouTube about the Runaway Camper. And I thought about putting some awnings on the camper. And I was like, man, I don't know how to do it, you know, but I don't even know what I would use. And then my old buddy here, uh, Hack61, came up with an idea. He says, hey, why don't you order some of them uh, sunroof visor uh, shields? So this would be a water shield for like a sunroof. So I got on eBay and I started looking up. I got a 31 inch window and the only one I could get was a 35 inch. And I think these things are going to turn out really great. And I do want to tell you Hatch, thanks for the idea. And I let you guys know I do pay attention when you're leaving me comments. Comments mean a lot to me so keep them coming. Well anyhow I picked up two of these and I'm going to go ahead and get them mounted on the camper. Uh, I do think this is going to make a good addition, especially if we have a light drizzle or something like that. We can still keep the window open on the camper because, man, like I said, you need air in these little campers. Without air, you can't breathe. And so if we get this thing mounted on here, I think it's going to be pretty cool and keep some of the rain off of us and let us get some air. So let's get to putting these things on. Let's see how it goes. Okay, what we did to get started was, I had uh, my wife hold these up here, just about the height of that window. We want to make sure this piece here is against that wall. So, I don't want it up on here, because then it's not going to get a good seal. So, we want it up here. And she held it into place about so. And what I did is I made a mark here on this one side. So, what I did is, I measured just from the white because the camper is not completely level but if I go off the white come up and mark it and then come over here and do the same thing for this side and I marked it and my, mine ended up being 36 and 5 8 so what we did is our our shields 35 all we did was find the center and mark it out on one side once we got the one side centered up that we knew both had the same size we got them both marked and I got a couple little pencil marks on this that will come off. So what I'm going to do now, the first step I want to do is I'm going to get some rubbing alcohol. This is uh, just regular old uh, rubbing alcohol, 70%. So I'm going to take some of this and we're going to rub down the side where this is going to be stuck to. Now don't forget guys, you only got one chance of sticking these on or you're going to have to have some more two-sided tape because this stuff's going to stick and when it does it ain't coming off so when you stick it on there it's there to stay so you're going to have to have a little bit of help getting it on and make sure it's on straight so I got a little bit of rubbing alcohol cleaned that off good and that's just in case there would be a little bit of oil from your fingers or wax from where you waxed it uh, and I have waxed this camper, so I don't want none of that on there. That's going to keep it from sticking. So now I'll just go ahead, get my shield here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn that camera off and get my wife to give me a hand here. Okay. All right, we've got that stuck back on there pretty good now. It seems like it. We had to hold it in place for a little while to get the glue to stick good. Now, what we got our fingers all over this, and I'm going to put a small bead of clear silicone around the top of this thing because I don't want no leaks. That's the whole reason we're putting it on there. So, I just put a little bit of alcohol on the rag, and then I'm going to go right up through this crack right here, and that's where we want to put our silicone. So, we'll go right around there. Then we'll take the dry part of our rag and dry it off good. Then we're going to just take our silicone. Now I have 100% silicone here. And it's good, it's good for about everything. It is sunproof, so we won't have to worry about it setting outside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny little bead of caulk and go around the whole top part of this. This ain't only going to seal it, but it's also going to help hold that on there. 
in case that tape was to come off, this will help it. We're just going to go right on along here. Nice little bead of silicone. Okay, this side's done. Now, I got a little drip of silicone there. It looks like that thing still don't want to stick very good. But I'm hoping that silicone... Shut it off. <clears throat> Alright guys, we had a bit of problem with the uh, tape. The two-sided tape would not stick to the camper. Now, I know at one time I did wax this, but I rubbed it down with rubbing alcohol. So, I was thinking, when I lay these up on here, there's a slight little bow in the top of this. It's not very big, but I thought it would stick back. Now, I went and got some new 3M two-sided sticky tape. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash this again, but I'm going to darken up my little pencil marks here where I need this thing to go so I don't wash them off. Now, not everything works exactly how it's planned. And as you can see, that did not work, and I'm not, I wasn't happy with it. So I went in and I got some automotive 3M two-sided sticky tape. I'm going to try it again. But this time, I'm going to wash it with soapy water. <clears throat> I'm going to dry it with regular paper towels. I'll rinse it off, and I'll dry it with regular paper towels, and then I'll use a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and hopefully I got it all off, and this will stick it. Now, if it doesn't stick, which I don't know, I thought that that was pretty good tape that was on there. <clears throat> if it doesn't stick... I'm going to screw them to the camper. I have some stainless steel screws, the same ones that I used inside for the um, switch box. Uh, so I bought all stainless steel screws. I bought boxes of them, so I have a few extra. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a couple screws in there to hold it down. And then we'll do our bead of silicone over the top of it. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wash this thing up. And uh, <clears throat> we'll get it rinsed off real good and dried up and hopefully this will do it because I'm getting a little bit worried now because well it sure didn't want to stick so we're going to use some good this is Dawn dish liquid <coughs> we're using so hopefully it'll work and then we're going to get this rinsed off and cleaned up Okay, as you can see, my help is gone, so I'm going to do this one on my own. Now, I went ahead and washed it with soapy water, rinsed it off, and then I used rubbing alcohol, and I did the same thing with this piece here. Now, this 3M, it feels like it's pretty sticky. Now, I thought that the other tape was going to be just as sticky, but it wasn't. So, we're going to try this again. And I'm kind of on my own here, so we're going to do it the best we can. And hopefully, this guy will stick. That sure feels a lot better than what I had. Now, like I said, these have just a tiny little bit of a bow in them. But there shouldn't be any reason why it shouldn't flatten out. I mean, it's just a small little bow. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep pressing this down. 
making sure it's going to stick. And like I said, if it doesn't stick, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a couple. I'm going to put a couple screws in it, and it's going to be there to stay. I don't want them to come off going 70 mile an hour down the interstate. We definitely don't want them coming off. So we got to do what we got to do to keep them on. So I'll get you back here in a little bit. Now, by the looks of it, I think this 3M tape is going to work well. I've been trying to pull it back off after I got it stuck and it's not coming off so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, bead of silicone I'm gonna use a small bead of silicone just right up around the top and down the other side um, that'll help seal it just in case there's any rain I don't know if it'll go through that two-sided tape or not but we don't want to take any chances and I'm not gonna make a big mess out of it I'm just gonna put a little bead around it. So what I'm going to do is take a little rubbing alcohol again, go around this edge because I was messing with that with my fingers. And I don't know if there be any oil on my fingers, but I sure don't want it to not stick. So I'm going to go around it. And I am really happy that I didn't have to drill any more holes in my camper. You know how I am about drilling the holes. I don't like doing it, but if I have to, I will. It is my camper. So you do with yours whatever you want, and I'll do with mine whatever I want. But we're just going to go ahead and put a little bead of silicone around this. A nice little tiny. Now this is 100% silicone. We'll go right on around this. This will also help keep hold it on there too. The silicon will. It's almost like a glue itself. Okay, there is just a tiny little bead we put a silicon all the way around it. And it's clear, so it's going to be hard to see it anyhow. And that should uh, seal it up real good and keep any water from leaking. Alright, since we got everything done on this side, we're going to repeat the process on the other side exactly like I did this one here, and it should come out exactly the same. Uh, and I think this looks really good, and it seems to be staying back really nice. So, once that silicone dries on there, it's going to be just like glue too, so it's going to help hold it on. If I thought it would come off, I would put a couple screws in it. But from what I can see right now, these actually are supposed to ride on top of a car, so they should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and get the other side done. Now I'm starting to work on the other side, and I'm going to save myself some trouble, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this tape off. This is the tape that came with it. As you can see, it comes right off. And that 3M tape did not come off. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the 3M tape. I got two rolls of it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one too. I'm not taking any chances. So what I'll do now is I'll do the same thing, everything as I did to that one there. I'll clean it off with some alcohol, get it cleaned up, and I'll go ahead and put my 3M tape on there. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake. If you buy these for your camper, Go ahead and buy the 3M tape. That was automotive 3M tape, and I'll show you the package here. Let me get the package for you. You can see it's 3M. If you decide to use, uh, you know, if you're going to buy these and put them on your camper, that's the tape you want. It comes in a half inch by five foot. Now they had it uh, one inch thick and you don't want the one inch, it's just too big. So that's what I'm using. Uh, 
it seemed to stick really well and I was glad I didn't have to put any screws I really didn't want to put no screws in it so we'll get her done And this, when I'm putting it on, I go completely around it. Not They only had so much. You've seen where it was broke air, where they had cut it and shortened you a little bit. Well, this here goes, I'll, I'll put it all the way around the bend and all. Like I said, it seemed like it really stuck pretty tight to that uh, camper and the shield here. Now this one went on about 100% easier because I learned from the other side doing the other side. This went on a lot better. So definitely um, do what I did. Clean it off with some soapy water. Rinse it off with clean water. Rub it down with alcohol. In the same way with this piece here when you put your 3M tape on there. Don't trust that tape that they, comes on them. I don't think it's good tape. Uh, as you seen the last one, it just came right back off, so, and I'm not going to put up with that. So we're going to get this impressed on and get some silicone on it, and this project will be done. We did the same uh, bead of caulk all the way around the top of this one too. Now if there's any messed up places, let it dry and then you can clean them up. But, uh... We got this one all done, and I do believe they look nice. Now, like I said, these were 31 inch windows, and you can see they hang over a little bit, but that's okay. That way it'll keep rain away from the sides of your windows, too. So, that's the second one. A lot easier that one was. Well, this project's finished up. And I do want to tell uh, Hatch61 thanks uh, for the idea. He's the one who gave me the idea. I mentioned putting awnings on it. And I think this was a great idea. He said, you know, what about the sunroof uh, uh, protectors there? You know, they got visors for your sunroof. And I was like, man, that's a good idea. So I, uh, I went ahead and picked these up. Now, Hatch, he's got a good channel. If you guys haven't been out there to check out his channel, he does a lot of reviews and stuff on uh, survival stuff, which is really interesting to me. So check out his channel. Now, these visors, uh, in case anybody wants to know, I picked them up off of eBay. I think I paid $24, $25 a piece. Cost me about $50 bucks for them. And then I bought the two-sided tape, which is probably around $5 a roll. Uh, it's, I don't think it's that expensive. I think it was okay. It was a fair price for what I paid. And I do like them to keep the, you know, the rain from hitting the window. Um, like to tell everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.